you, I'm going to show you an exercise. It's called the founder. Okay? And what it's really trying to teach you to do is to use your hamstrings, your butt, and keep your back strong so that when you bend forward, you don't hurt it. Okay. Okay. So this is a we, we usually do this in a series of treatments because it takes a little while to um, to learn how to do it because it's like throwing a baseball with uh, with your left arm. Are you left-handed? Are you right-handed? Uh, right. Yeah. So can you throw a baseball with your left arm? Mm. Neither can I. So that's how this maybe, feels sometimes. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, you probably throw a baseball faster than me with my oh, left arm. Oh, oh no, no, no. I maybe, can't do maybe it. Maybe once I'm training. Before that, well, that's it. That's what we're going to do now is we're going to train. Yeah. So here's what you're going to do. Step one, I'm going to do it with you. So step one is you're going to put your feet far apart. Okay? Now here's what you're going to do. The inside muscles of your thighs, okay, what they do is if you pull them like this, you're going to be tightening these muscles. But what I don't want you to do is I don't want your knees to come in like that. I want you to keep your legs nice and strong, straight but you're just going to pull them like this, okay? What that does, these muscles will pull your pelvis down, all right? And then when you do this other thing, your spine is going to extend up so we get a nice traction with it. It'll feel like a traction. So step one is contract those muscles. Step two is put your finger in this notch. Take a deep breath in, as deep as you can, and notice it goes up and you extend your spine, and then let the air out. And most people will slunch, slouch forward. What you want to do is you want to take a deep breath in, as deep as you can. Go ahead and do it. And then when you let the air out, watch me, Freddie. Just blow the air out, but don't let your spine change. Okay. So now you're upright. Okay? And here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with this. Ready? Watch me. Good. Now watch me. Butt. Back. It's like a rap song. Butt back. Okay. Just make your butt go back, but keep your chest up like that. Go ahead and do that. That's good. Perfect. Okay. Now, as your butt goes back, you're going to feel a tightness in the back of your legs. Bend the knees a little bit. Notice my knees bend. Mm -hmm. As I go back, the knees bend. So go backwards that way. The knees are bending now a little. Bend the knees more. Um, not like this to one side. Bend both knees. There you go. That's good. Now, your chest is out, right? Okay. Now, just come up. Stand up. Okay. So now, you're going to take a deep breath in. Let the air out, but don't let your chest fall. Butt back. Make your butt go back. There you go. Bend the knees a wee bit. Butt back. Now, you're going to take your hands like this. Squeeze them together. Squeeze them together. So I, can't, I cannot pull them apart. See how I can, so I can pull them apart? Squeeze. Pull my hands apart. Pull my hands apart. Like... No, pull them apart. Oh, like separate? Separate, yeah. See how I'm tightening? That's what I want you to do. So see how I can do this? Yeah. Don't let me do it. All right. Perfect. Now, go out. There you go. Like that. Okay, so out like this. Squeeze these fingers together. Good. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Make your butt go back. Let me move a little yeah, bit. Yeah, move away from the wall. All right. Butt back. There you go. Arms out. Good. So we're like this, okay? Now this is hard. Take two deep breaths. Breathe in. Let the air out. Breathe in. Let the air out. Good. Now stand up. Stand up. Okay? We're going to start with that. That's the exercise. Okay. So here's what you do. Feet far apart, tighten the muscles. Squeezing like that. Take a deep breath in, let the air out, keep it like this. Butt goes back, bending only from here. Your, your back is straight, chest is out, fingers together, and you reach out as high as you can and make your body, there you go, and take a breathe in, breathe in real deep, let the air out. Breathe in, let the air out, and go ahead and stand up, okay? okay? That's it. Okay. What we're teaching you to do is to learn how to use the back side of your muscles rather than the front side. When people go into a gym, 
most guys, <laughs> most guys like me, <laughs> I don't do this. <laughs> you can tell. But here's the thing: most guys will go into the gym, and what do they do? They lift for their bicep. They do bench press because they always want to talk about how much they can bench. Yeah. They do sit-ups to the point where they ruin their back because they want to get this strong. And then they do squats because that's an ego thing, so they build their quads. They, they exercise the show me muscles, everything you can see in front of a mirror. They don't exercise anything in the back. And yeah, I know, where is it, right? <laughs> so here's the thing, I'm gonna exaggerate, okay? I'm gonna okay. exaggerate, watch me. Okay. Here's what most guys want to look like or think they look like. Oh yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> Hey, look at me. You know, uh, and and they and, and they're like this. Meanwhile, here's the problem. Ask these guys to raise their shoulders. Oh, doc, my shoulders hurt. I ask them to turn their head. Oh, my neck is killing me. Their back is killing them. They got a flat butt, but they got nice six pack, nice chest, nice biceps. Stupid. It's all, yeah. I know. Stupid. If you exercise the back of your body, okay, you're more upright. You could breathe better. You got a nice butt. I'm joking. <laughs> no, and, and, no, that is true. And also, uh, it, you uh, better, better, probably better chest. Yes. And and, uh, and what's the number one when you think of soccer, for example? What's the number one injury that takes people out of soccer? Hamstrings. Uh, the back here, back of the yeah, leg. Yeah, yeah. So when you when you get into this position, what you're doing is you're straining and you're exercising your hamstrings, your butt, all your spinal erector muscles, and the muscles that involve opening the chest and breathing and compressing mm -hmm. in the upper part. So you get the nice distraction and you get nice strengthening of the back. So here's what you're gonna do. You do two deep breaths. I want you to start out with five repetitions. So you're gonna do breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, stand up. Get ready, do it again, do it five times every single day, seven days a week. Okay. For now. Okay. And then as, as you get better at it, we're going to add some little things to it to make it more difficult. But it's not going to take a big amount of time. It'll take literally a minute or two. But what you're doing is you're training your brain to when you have to bend, pick up something and bend forward, to bend like that rather than rounding your spine because that will continue to injure your, your back. Okay. Okay? And this going to make a big difference in the long run. Okay.